Today we are here at Kiahi Kavelo, which is in the Ahupua'a of Ka'a, which is the largest Ahupua'a on the island of Lanai. This is the northern side of the island, and Kiahi Kavelo is a storied place here in this Ahupua'a. So Kiahi Kavelo translates to the fire of Kavelo, which relates to a traditional story of this place, which will be told in a later video. Commonly people call this area Garden of the Gods, but we're trying to encourage everyone to call it by its proper place name, which is Kiahe Cavello. Garden of the Gods was actually a misnomer given to this place by a visitor to Lanai in the early 1900s. It really has no relevance to this landscape or this area, and so we really encourage you and your families to say Kiahe Cavello. So here at Kiahe Cavello, this landscape is extremely barren and arid, dry, but it didn't always used to look like this. So typically, this area in traditional times would have been covered in ancient dryland forest, would have been very lush and covered in vegetation. But the reason why it looks so dry today is because of the introduction of ungulates such as deer, goats, and sheep to Lana'i, which really ravaged the landscape. So they went through eating all of the native vegetation, leaving these bare tracts of land exposed. And why that's bad is because um, it causes erosion. So erosion is a typically natural forest that occurs, but this is not natural because this area was supposed to be covered in forest. So some of the things that cause erosion include wind and rain. When it rains, if there is no vegetation to cover the ground, then that dirt just ends up ru running down the landscape and eventually into the ocean in an unnatural way. With wind, as you can tell, it's very windy today. That also acts upon the landscape and cutting away at the dirt and sediment and washing them to a place or blowing them to a place they're not supposed to be. If you look at some of the rocks behind me, you can see some of the erosive for forces at work um, carving into the rock, um, which is why they're falling apart. But if this area was covered in the healthy native vegetation that it's supposed to be covered in, then those erosive forces wouldn't be as um, extreme. So while this landscape is very interesting, it is actually not what Kiahikavelo is supposed to look like. And so we hope that through future restoration efforts, we'll hopefully be able to bring back health to this area. Now we'll transition from Kiahikavelo to Kanepu'u. Kanepu'u is a great example of what Kiahikavelo would have looked like uh, prior to the deforestation that occurred here. And so um, the dryland forest that would have been here at Kihikavelo, we'll go take a look at now at Kanepu'u. Aloha mai kako and welcome to Kanepu'u. So Kanepu'u literally means the hill of Kane. Um, we just came from Kiahia Kavelo, which is in the same Ahupua'a of Ka'a and literally just down the road. But as you can see, the natural landscape looks much different here at Kanepu'u. Um, we are so fortunate to be able to still have our native dryland forest here. And when we say native forest, we mean the forest as, as it would have existed in traditional times. All right, so you folks might be wondering why Kiahia Kavelo and Kanepu'u are so close together but look entirely different. And one of the main reasons for that is the fence that's up. So in the 1900s when George Monroe was here on Lanai, he noticed how fragile and important the forest was in Kanepu'u. So he decided to fence all of these acres in, about 580 acres, um, and that's why we're still able to have the living forest that we have today, along with a bunch of hard work by our community members to sustain the native dryland forest. So one of our main goals for Eikeho is to try to help you build personal connections to Aina with the hopes that eventually when you 
grow up and throughout the years that you will want to be better stewards of Aina and take care of it. Um, and so Kane Pu'u is a great example of a legacy that we've been left today um, that helps us understand that this Aina was cared for before us and it will hopefully be cared for by and after us. Um, and so for me, my grandpa Solomon Ka'opuiki was very involved in helping out here at Kane Pu'u um, and kind of across the island to take care of what is left of our natural landscapes. Um, and so legacy is a huge theme for this place and me. Um, so I encourage you guys to think about what the legacy that you inherit is. So what are the things that people before you have done that you inherit today? Uh, and then think about in the future, like what kind of legacy do you want to leave as a person, right? Because each of us will, will leave something behind, um, whether it be positive or negative. And so if we look at Kiahia Cavello, right, that's it, one example of a legacy of how to, to leave a landscape. But Kane Pu'u is also an example of a legacy. And so you really have the agency in deciding what that looks like.